That's our new leaders right there. Big Silly! University of Montevallo, 2496. <laughs> National champions, Wallace State, Briar and Clinton. We're here at Lake Hartwell. This will be the 18th edition of the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. It's time for another episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. And on today's show, we will be providing an introduction to the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. We're here for the ACA uh, College National Championship and a uh, very nice event here. Hey, this is the National Championship. We're super proud to be here. We're super excited. Can't wait to watch these guys go out and compete. 200 of college fishing's best teams have qualified to compete here at Lake Hartwell this week. Anglers will compete for two days in this no entry fee event that is set to pay out over $30,000 in prizes and contingencies, crown a new national champion, and award the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. This week is the culmination of 12 months of hard work for these anglers and teams who have earned the opportunity to be here. This is one of the biggest tournaments we fish every year. You know, we got everyone here. We got all the sponsors. It's a, it's a big turnout every year. And gosh, it's, it's just really special that we're able to participate in this tournament. It's, it's, it's a really cool deal. Championship week kicks off on Wednesday with the annual Angler and Sponsor Banquet. This is an event designed to celebrate the anglers and overwhelming sponsor support that makes this all possible. College fishing as a whole is something that the fishing industry, we, we knew we needed it, you know, two decades ago, but we really didn't understand the importance of it when it began to happen. And now when you look at the sponsor support and you start at the top retailers, Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, you look at the boat brands that are behind it, Ranger, Nitro, Triton, you look at the Marine, uh, the motor, Yamaha, and how they roll out and show up in an event both with support staff and their backdrop. And then you get into the electronics companies like Garmin and the discount contingency program that they have that affords college anglers the ability to have the latest and greatest technology on their boats. Then you look at the companies within the fishing space yourself. Abu Garcia, what they do, they, bring, they allow these kids to bring an old reel in and upgrade it by giving them a new uh, Revo rocket and they take that old reel and they don't get rid of it. They pass it down to the, the DNR so that now the other kids can get usage of it at other youth programs. And the list of the programs go on and on and on. And it's just about sustainability, giving back to this industry and creating a platform that these college kids can, can get out and enjoy and compete and showcase their talents. Along with the unwavering support through discount programs, product giveaways, and much more, ACA Series partners offer a variety of contingency programs to reward anglers for their performance out on the water. Those programs include Ranger Cup, Nitro and Triton contingencies, Garmin Tournament rewards, G2 Gemini jersey bonuses, and Yamaha PowerPay. Here we have uh, Yamaha PowerPay. It's our very own contingency program where this week some lucky winner will win $2,000 here at the championship. All total, an angler could cash in on over $10,000 in contingency bonuses at the conclusion of this event. To find out more about discount and contingency programs offered through the ACA, visit CollegiateBassChampionship.com. It's time for our first break in the show. On the other side, we'll take a look at the host site of Lake Hartwell and Green Pond Landing in Anderson, South Carolina. Stay tuned for more. We're at Lake Hartwell, beautiful Lake Hartwell, in God's country in South Carolina. The playing field for this week's Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops is Lake Hartwell. Official takeoff and tournament weigh-ins will take place at Green Pond Landing in Anderson, South Carolina. This marks the first time in which the ACA has contested an event here. So Lake Hartwell is, is a fishery here in upstate South Carolina. It's a tremendous spotted bass fishery. 
Lake Hartwell boasts a healthy population of spotted and largemouth bass. The famed fishery is comprised of 56,000 acres of water and 962 miles of shoreline. The lake is a great host for major tournaments and offers a variety of cover that allows anglers to fish their strengths and get bites. I like this lake because you can literally do whatever you want on this lake. There's so many patterns you can go and chase and there's just a vast amount of fish. Green Pond Landing and Lake Hartwell have played host to many prestigious fishing tournaments throughout the years. The staff and team with Visit Anderson know how to put on a top-notch event. We've got the amphitheater right behind us that seats 1,300 folks. We've got over 8,000 square feet of dock space, the deepest launch lanes on Lake Hartwell, the most dock space on Lake Hartwell. And it's, the, it's not just a premier facility on Lake Hartwell, it's really one of the premier facilities in the country. We've been doing this since the beginning and it's just more and more exciting. It keeps growing and growing. These college anglers are getting better and better every year and every season. And it's just exciting to see the growth and in in the potential that these anglers have and as they progress into the next season. This week at Lake Hartwell, close to 400 of college fishing's top anglers will be competing in the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. Many of these anglers have the hopes of progressing to the professional ranks a dream that they are working to attain through competing at the college level. College fishing has revolutionized the way that this sport operates as far as the pro level goes because college fishing allows guys to get what they used to have to pay for on themselves or they used to have to string into multiple years or used to have to go to work for for a few years to be able to afford. It's turned it into these guys are getting all of this experience that they used to get at the ages of you know late 20s, early 30s at the ages of 18 to 22. Not only does college fishing help youth anglers carve out their path to the pros, it also helps to open doors for these young men and women to pursue careers in the fishing industry as well. Over the course of the 18 plus years in which the ACA has been hosting collegiate events, many student anglers have taken their passion for fishing and combined that with their college degree to join the workforce in the fishing industry. And out of those first few years of the Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, what we saw was guys that moved, went on to the professional ranks, uh, kids that took positions within the industry itself, hosting everything from podcasts to TV shows to being marketing managers and pro staff directors for uh, companies out there. And it has continued to explode year after year. Yeah, I've always wanted to fish professionally, and that's just something that, that competitive level is just something that I've always had. I've always wanted to be able to do that. Um, and I just know that that's not something that I'm going to be able to do right out of college and just make a way for myself. So I figured next best thing is start in the fishing industry, make some really good connections, meet a lot of great people. Reese Martin will be competing at Lake Hartwell this week as a member of the top 25 ranked Dallas Baptist University bass fishing team. Reese recently accepted a position to work with one of the ACA's series partners, Evolution Fishing. Turning a hobby and passion into a career opportunity is something that he acknowledges would not have been possible without college fishing. Making that transition from high school to college and now having a full-time job is, is just so awesome. Being able to stay in an industry that everyone's, you know, surrounded each other with you know their passion and how they they care about this and it was just something that everyone here shares that love for the outdoors and fishing and it just feels feels right at home for me i drove in today and i seen all this and i'm like where the heck was this when i was in college right down the road at clemson Today, college fishing has grown into a platform supporting thousands of college anglers representing hundreds of colleges and universities all across the country. From junior colleges to private institutions and even major Power Five universities, there are opportunities for young anglers to compete, chase their dreams, and build their brand through college fishing. College fishing has evolved from, you know, a few schools to several hundred that have legitimate programs. There are now college coaches. There are now scholarships in college fishing. These are things that I couldn't even begin to fathom when we sat down as a team and started drawing up our early years of college fishing. It was, I mean, who would have thought a college coach? And these guys recruit young high school anglers to come in and go fish. But that's not the end all be all for college fishing. There are also major four year schools and two year schools out there that have a program that allows a kid that's staying, going to school near his house, for instance, and they want to create their own college fishing program. 
they can learn how to do it. We've got resources on our website that they can go build this college program. And it allows these kids to be able to fish for, at any college, anywhere in the United States, and get out and compete on all the major platforms. Time now for our second break in the show. On the other side, we'll take a look at the season so far and the three events that have led us to this end of season championship. Don't go away. So today is day one of the Big Bass Bash here at Kentucky Lake. Looking forward to it, it should be fun. I definitely feel like there's gonna be some big fish weighed in. The first stop of the season on the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series took us to Kentucky Lake in Henry County in Paris, Tennessee for the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. That giant. That yes. big. 520 anglers representing the top collegiate bass fishing teams in the nation participated in the Big Bass Format event. Comprised of seven weigh-in sessions over the course of two days, the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley paid out 80 places with over $20,000 in prizes and contingencies, as well as double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Came off the net, baby. Okay, might keep. Oh, God, that's a good one. He's gonna come right there where you're at, folks. There you go. Right. Oh, my God, let's go, baby. Mm. Wow. Heck yeah, son. <laughs> He's got that thing. Yeah! That's how you do that. That's now. a good one right there. Let's go, yes, sir. 721, first place for session three, presented by Bass Pro Shops. Overall leader for day one of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash, presented by Berkeley. Parker Brown from Dallas Baptist University won the event with that bass weighing 7.21 pounds. Harper Burkeen from McKendree University finished in second, and Levi Mullins from Bethel University took third. And here's a look at the standings for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia following the first ACA double points event of the season. Adrian College maintained its first place lead. Back-to-back -back title winner, the University of Montevallo was in second. And national powerhouse, McKendree University, lurked close behind in third. We're at the AFCO Open this week on Lake Dardanelle. There's a lot of boats out here today and I'm pretty excited to be here. I've never been in a tournament this big. Lake Darnell in Russellville, Arkansas played host to the second stop of the season, the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. More than 400 college anglers flocked to this Arkansas River fishery to compete for more than $20,000 in prizes and contingencies and double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Close, eh? Holy crap, that's a big old spot right there. <laughs> Nicely done. Not much better. Dang. He'll, I think he'll keep. We'll be... Probably a drone. Let's keep it. Heck yeah. Megan? Yep. Oh, That's what we're looking for. 11.53 right there, two-day total, 27.09. Leaders of the tournament, Arkansas Tech, Matt and John Foster. Matt Higby and John Foster Case from Arkansas Tech University won the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open with a two-day total weight of 27.09 pounds. Connor Nimrod and Dylan Nimrod from Louisiana Monroe finished in second and Ben Coley and Hayden Gaddis from nationally ranked Carson Newman University took third. And here's a look at the national rankings for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia following the second ACA double points event of the season. The top three teams remain the same, but the gap between those near the top of the standings continues to shrink. 
We are at the Pickwick Slam, trying to catch some bass. This is a big tournament for school to year points, and it's going to mean a lot to us for to have two good teams do really well here. The final regular season major double points event before the year-end championship was the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. This two-day traditional five bass limit event saw close to 400 college anglers compete for more than $20,000 in prizes and contingencies, as well as double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh yeah, that's a giant. Boom, baby. Oh my gosh, it came off. Oh, let's go! Right in the corner of the mouth. Don't watch it, don't watch it. Yes! Oh my gosh! So they improved on their day one way, 2209 today, 4383 for the weekend. Logan Pluger and Charlie Wright from top ranked University of Montevallo won the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing with a two day total weight of 43.83 pounds. University of North Alabama anglers Tyler Finley and Lane Lasseter took second, and Miller Dowling and Parker O'Brien from Montevallo finished third. Leaving Pickwick Lake, here is where the point standing stood in the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. The University of Montevallo had grown its lead over second ranked Auburn and Adrian College was in third with 32,260 points. Coming up after the break, the University of Montevallo enters the year end championship with a chance to achieve college bass fishing history. Stay tuned to hear from the nation's top teams as they have their sights set on the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. So School of the Year, we are in the lead by, it's, I wanna say it's just under 3,000 points. Entering this week's event, Here's a look at the standings for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. The University of Montevallo is in first place with 42,205 points. Auburn University trails in second by more than 3,000 points and Adrian College is in third with 35,550 points. Here at Lake Hartwell for the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops, the University of Montevallo is looking to achieve collegiate bass fishing history. If they were to claim this year's Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, Montevallo would become the first team to ever win the title three times. That'd be something really special. We all, we've been thinking about that all season. That's what we're working towards all season long. And gosh, that would be something really special for our team if we're able to accomplish that this week. All season long, the University of Montevallo has been competing at an extremely high level a rate at which we've likely never seen before in college fishing. Over the past 12 months of tournament competition, Montevallo has achieved close to 150 top 20 finishes, 70 top 10s, more than 30 top fives, as well as seven tournament victories. Though second ranked Auburn University mathematically has a chance to catch them, three good finishes at Lake Hartwell would slam the door shut and secure Montevallo's spot atop the collegiate fishing ranks. Like Easton had mentioned, we try to not think about it and just go out there and focus on fishing. Although it's all on our minds, again, you just have to go out there. At the end of the day, it's just fishing. That's what we got to focus on. And keeping in mind, uh, definitely that school of the year, that's what everyone on this team is going for. Uh, that's one special part about this program is we're all super driven um, just to go for that school of the year title. Um, we all push each other. And that's why we're here today, uh, leading it going into this event. And hopefully we can take it home. We're sitting in second place right now. This is this would be the second year in a row we got second, so we're hope, hoping to really have some good finishes here and hopefully move up the leaderboard a little bit. We know Montevallo is doing really well, but hopefully we can make a run at it at this tournament. Entering this event in second place is Auburn University. Auburn has amassed a total of 38,440 points. With the close to 3,000 point cushion over third ranked Adrian College, Auburn is hoping to jump up into that top spot, but at a minimum, looking to maintain their second place ranking. We feel really good about it. Uh, a lot of tough competition we're fishing against, so uh, it's very difficult, but we have a strong 
strong group of guys here that can definitely make a run at something. So we're going to try to our best and at worst just uh, hold on to our second place stop. Occupying the third spot in the national rankings is Adrian College. The team from Michigan is nearly 7,000 points behind first place and looking to secure its fifth straight top five finish in the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. We're sitting in third and we're definitely gonna, we're gonna need a lot to happen here. We're gonna have to get a couple of teams up there if we wanna make a run at it. It's pretty awesome. You know, we'd like to be in first, but we just gotta, we just gotta catch them, get up there. And uh, it's pretty special. And with that, we'll conclude this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. On our next episode, we'll bring you day one coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. The full field of 400 anglers will converge on Lake Hartwell in search of the best five bass limit they can bring in. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. This has been a Careco TV production.